Oh, sorry. Sorry. I was uh, muted. It, sorry, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, I can uh, hear you. I'm so sorry. I I forgot to recharge the computer. Sorry. Se me olvidó conectar el cargador. Perdón. Okay. Let's continue. This is affirmative. Now you know I want to give you the negative form. With negative, you know we have. Again, right, remember we use the present continuous to talk about actions that are in progress or happening now, right? So I can see that Linda and Mariana send some examples, right? I am listening to music right now. Good, Linda, uh, just the spelling but listening. Hey, Linda, I'm listening. Yes, you forgot the T. My uncle is working at home. Yes, Mariana. My friends are working off call center. Oh, okay, I think you want to say, Jennifer, my friends are working in call centers. Call centers. <clears throat> my friends are working in call centers. That is the way, Jennifer. I am listening, to, uh, I am listening to an English class, Jacqueline. I am listening to an English class. My sister is studying medicine. Yes, well, there we go. All right. Well, listen. Um, let me see. Okay. Now let's go. Oh, sorry. Let me go back. With affirmative, we use contractions. We use contractions, right? Okay, specifically with a subject and the verb be, right? Remember, as we saw with the verb B, we can say, right, I'm um, and equals I am. We can say he is equals he is. Uh, we can say she is and equals she is, right? We can say it's equals it is. We're equals we are. Uh, there equals they are. We can use the contract. I can say I'm talking to, I'm speaking right now. I'm speaking right now. You're listening to the class, right? I can say that. I can say that. We can use contractions. You're listening now. You're listening to the class now, right? I can use contractions. Um, you know, this is the way. Affirmative. In affirmative. Now, moving on to negative form. Negative form. I will send this in the chat, right? The contractions. Let me send this in the chat. Also the contractions, right? And now, with the negative form, right? Uh, I send the contractions in the chat, by the way. I send the contractions in the chat. In negative, yeah, your, very good, madam. In negative, the formula is similar, but we use not. Subject, plus verb be, am or, or is, am or is, plus not, plus verb in ing form, and the complement. Subject, verb be, not, plus verb in ing form, and the complement. We always use a very nice G. Siempre utilizamos el verbo ING. For example, I'm not playing video games right now, right? I'm not doing that, right? I'm not doing that. Why? Because I'm in class. I'm not playing video games right now, right? That is true. That is true. I can say, right? Kevin isn't watching videos. Or I can say, eh, Daniel isn't watching videos. Right, because he is in class. Daniel is in class, right? I can say. Disculpe, y esa coma siempre se va a utilizar cuando se esté hablando en plural. No, no, no. This is not. This is not for the possessive. 
This apostrophe, that is the name, apostrophe is for the for the verbian, the contraction. It's not the possessive. In this case, it's the apostrophe, not the comi. Perdón, no es este el possessive, pero lo vimos ayer. Esa contracción es el verbo the verb be. Apostrophe. So if you say right, he isn't equals he is not. He is not. So this is the apostrophe, yeah. We use it for contractions. We use it for contractions. Ese apostrophe lo decimos para contracciones, ¿verdad? Pero en ese caso no es el posesivo, como vimos ayer, ¿verdad? Para eso. Sino que es la contracción de he is not. He isn't. Okay? Okay, entiendo. Yeah, you're welcome. Here we have the contractions, right? I'm not. I'm not. I am not. He isn't. He is not. They aren't. They are not. Right? Mercedes is, isn't shaking her cell phone right now. I can say, right? I can say, uh, for example, let me see, let me see, let me see. I can say, Luisa isn't shaking her cell phone now, right? Luisa isn't shaking her cell phone now, right? Because she is in class. Luisa is in class, right? She is not. He isn't checking her cell phone now. Right. As you can see, okay, over here with the negative form, we have contraction. We can use contractions. Right. Or I can say, if I want to use long forms, I can say, I am not right playing, playing video games now. This is a long form. Esta sería la forma larga, ¿verdad? forma. Or we use contractions. We use the short form. That is the way. Okay. And we always express, right? Or we always talk about actions that are in progress of happening now. But in this case, it's negative. We express what someone is not doing, right, at the moment. So in my case, I'm not playing video games now because I'm teaching. I'm teaching English, right, to you. This is the negative way. Any questions, everybody? Questions, questions? Oops. Ese, ese video, uh, perdón, el, el interrupción, un breve paréntesis. Este video o esta clase va a estar ¿verdad? dividida, va a tener dos partes, porque para pues, el error que, que cometí, no, no, no cargué la hora a tiempo, me dio el, el, la alerta, ¿verdad? que se va a tener batería baja, pero no la, se me olvidó por completo cargarla, por eso se, me salí, ¿verdad? Me acabo la... pero ya es verdad, aquí está la grabación, se está... y sería ¿verdad? esa otra eh, grabación. Se está armando. De la otra parte. Va a estar dividido en dos partes. Eh, questions? No. No question, Lick. Okay. Here we have some time expressions, guys. You know, these time expressions help us to, you know, identify the present continuous. We can say present continuous or present progressive. It's the same. Present continuous or present progressive. Present continuous or present progressive. It's the same. It's the same. So here we have some time expressions for the present progressive. Present continuous. At the moment, at this moment, today, now, right now, listen, look, look, this this summer, etc. Right. Let me give you some examples. Esas son eh, expresiones de tiempo que nos permiten eh, denotar, identificar, mejor dicho, el tiempo, ¿verdad? en este caso, present continuous. Esas son específicamente para ese tipo de verbal. Por ejemplo, I am giving examples to you now, right? I am giving examples to you now. Now is the expression, right? So they, they go, right? As you can see, they go at the end of the sentence. Por general, ¿verdad? Esas expresiones de tiempo van al final de la oración. Some cases we use in at the beginning. Beginning of the sentence. 
En algunos casos las utilizamos al inicio de la oración. For example, Rolando is paying attention in class. Rolando is paying attention in class. I can say Rolando is paying attention in class at the moment. At the moment. In some cases, we can use them or we cannot use them, right? We can omit them because it is understandable, the context, right? In algunos casos, las podemos omitir. Uh, y es porque sabemos el contexto, ¿verdad? Sabemos el contexto. Estamos hablando, ¿verdad? En, 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 por decirlo así, ¿verdad? En vivo, ¿verdad? En vivo, entonces, estamos en ese contexto. No, but, yeah, pay is different. Yeah, pay is, as you said, right? Pay. Can you say, right? I pay. Um, I would say I am paying. My what? I will say my my cell phone. What? My cell phone fee, right? My cell phone fee. So I'm paying for the the quota of the telephone. But if you say pay attention, it's different. Pay attention. Pay attention. Right, so you pay attention in class, for example. It's different, so that is a verb, pay, pay attention. I am paying attention in class, it's different, okay? Tell me is not watching TV right now, right? Or I can say, if, for example, Jancy is not watching TV right now, because again, she is in class. Yes. And we're using right now, right now is a time expression, right now. I can say, let me give you some other examples with listen. For example, we use listen. Listen, right? Listen tends to be at the beginning. Listen. Someone is knocking, knocking on the door. Right? Listen, someone is knocking on the door. Knocking, right? Listen, someone is knocking on the door. So listen is a time expression for the present continuous. And that is the way it listens. Someone is talking to the door. Right. That is the way. So this is the present continuous. Today, we're going to see just affirmative and negative. Tomorrow, we're going to see uh, questions. Ese día solo vamos a ver afirmativo y negativo. Y pues, queríamos, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, ha dicho, eh, las preguntas, ¿verdad? Posiblemente mañana. Vamos, lo voy a dividir así para no para cargarlo mucho. Igual por el tiempo, ¿verdad? No hay que ser que gente eso, que no tiempo para, para los temas. ¿Questions? ¿Es todo ok, guys? Yep. No questions, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. Nice. Okay, well, let's practice. Yeah, we have uh, yeah, we have uh, enough time. What I want to do, I need you to look at the picture. I'm going to give you a picture. In the picture, we will see, right, some people. Uh, imagine, you know, imagine that situation, right? Imagine that you are there, right? You are there with those people. And I need you to, in your notebook, in your notebook, I need you to write at least five sentences about things people are doing at the moment. This is the picture, right? We have, as you can see, different people. Different people. Let me see if I can do it bigger. I think Okay. 
Yeah, look at the picture, Sean, and write at least five sentences about things people are doing at the moment. So again, imagine that you are in that scenario, right? You are with Jason, Claire, Sam, Danny, Tom, Lucy, Helen, Eve, Judy, and Dave, right? Imagine that you are in that party, right? Look, that's a party, that's a party. And they are doing, right, as we can see, different actions. They are different different things. For example, listen to this, listen to this. Let, let me give you some examples. Oops. What are they doing? What are they doing? That is a question. What are they doing? We can say, okay, Tom is singing a song, right? Look at Tom, this is Tom. Tom. So Tom is singing a song, right? Tom is singing a song. Lucy, look at Lucy. This is Lucy, right? Lucy is not drinking soda, right? Lucy is not drinking soda. Okay, so she is doing another action. I, 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 I don't. I mean, I won't say that the action right that Lucy is doing because I need you to do the exercise, right? So in your notebooks, you're going to write five sentences about what they're doing. Okay. So follow the examples that I'm giving you. And now it's your turn, right? Five. By example, you can use affirmative and negative. Affirmative and negative. I will give you some time. Go ahead, go ahead. Your notebooks first. Oh, very good, Mayra. Thank you so much for sharing the chat. Escribamos primero en su cuaderno, ¿verdad? Tómense el tiempo y luego vamos a compartir. Okay? If you have any questions, let me know, please let me know. Oh, very good, very good, yeah. It's okay, it's okay, yeah. Send your examples in the chat. Very good, very good. Just a moment.
Okay. I would like to listen to your examples. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I'm going to. Mayra, uh, give us one example, please. Danny is not dancing. Danny is not dancing, okay? Yeah, very good. This is Danny, right? Danny is not dancing. Very nice. Okay? Eva, give us one example. One example. Hello, teacher. Yeah, hello. <clears throat> um... You can you can express example that you that you send in the, in the chat. It's okay. Ya lo perdí, teacher. Helen and Eve are not dancing. Okay, yeah. Helen and and Eve are not dancing. Yes. Okay. Very good. Uh, Carlos, give us one example, please. Carlos? Hello, teacher. No, que se... No sé qué le pasó, que no escuchaba I, nada. I can hear you bien? now. Yeah. What? Okay. <clears throat> can you give us one example, please? No, no, no. It's okay, teacher. I mean, mention one example, please. Give us your thoughts oh, on him. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, bueno. Uh, Sam, is he, is, he, is he dancing? Yeah, Sam isn't dancing. Sam uh, yeah, isn't. Uh, 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 Sam. Uh, no, no. Uh, Tom, uh, Tom is, isn't, isn't eating? Yeah, Tom isn't eating. Okay. And I don't know. Come on, I say what more? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. I think you have one more. Porque dijo que tenía uno más. Ah. Okay. El de no sé. Ah. El. Okay, he said, uh, Helen and, and Eve are, he said, dancing? Okay, Helen and Helen Eve are not dancing. Or are not dancing. Okay. Or aren't, right? You can use contraction. Aren't. Aren't, aren't. dancing. Okay. 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 Let's yes. see. Bring it. Yeah, they're, they're good. They're good. The examples are good. Thank you. Okay, yeah, let's go with Jennifer uh, Torres, please. Give me examples. Uh, Helen is eating pizza. Yep. And Jay is dancing with Derek. Okay. Eve is not singing right now. Okay, yes, very good. Eve, Eve. Eve, Eve. 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 okay. Yes, thank you. I think Jeremy, you want to help us. Uh, they are sorry. They helping. Repeat again, please. Sorry. Jason. Uh, uh, Jason. Jason and sorry. They helping. They are sorry. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, I got it. Listen, what, just one observation, Jeremy. If you say Jason and Claire, you say are, right? But if you want to say they, only that way, right? they are. But you cannot say Jason and Claire, they are. So we say Jason and Claire are, or they are, only that. Jason and Claire are talking, or they are talking. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, Jason and Claire are talking. Only that, right? But don't say Jason and Claire. They are. 
Only Jason and Claire are talking. Only that. Very good. Thank you, Jeremy. Only that. Sorry, only that. Eh, pues, este, o sea, yo le estoy diciendo que Jason y Clarice están conversando. Yeah, and, and the example is good. The example is good. Just my observation is that you said Jason and Claire, they are talking. Lo que uh -huh. que se, se mencionó, Jason and Claire, they are talking. Entonces, ahí está combinando. Solamente puede yeah, decir Jason este. and Claire are talking o solo puede decir they are talking. Pero no se puede ah, combinar. Eso. No se puede decir they read. I'm sorry? They read. O sea, T H E Y la ellos coma nosotros. R. Ellos nosotros, nosotros ellos. Lo puede, lo, lo, lo puede decir. They are, they are talking. Sí se puede. They are talking. Ya sabemos que, para que nos estamos refiriendo a, a Jason y Claire, ¿verdad? Si sabemos que es, estamos hablando de ellos, ¿verdad? Pero si no sabemos de quién estamos hablando, es necesario mencionar los nombres para ser más específico. Yes, and Claire are talking. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Jeremy? Well, because of the time, we will listen to the last, you know, participant. Uh, I would like to listen to, let me see. Jose, please. Okay. You're dancing. Helen is eating pizza. Yeah. Sam and Danny are drinking soda. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Johnson and Clary are speaking. Yeah. Eric is seeing Jody dancing. Yes, very good. Thank you, Jose. Well, and I want to thank, you know, all of you. I'm checking your, your you know, examples. Oh, I can see that Mayra is asking in the chat, right? Para decir que están hablando de alguien. Ah, okay. You can say, Mayra, they are talking about, uh, what, let's say, Jason. They're talking about Jason. That is the way, Mayra. They're talking okay. about Jason. Yes. Sí, la, era Jason y... And Clyder, no sé cómo se pronuncia, Clear. are talking Clear. about Dave. Por eso preguntaba si era correcto. Que are están hablando, about? hablando sobre Dave. Oh, Dave, yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk about Dave. Yes, it's, it's, it's possible. That is the way. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys, listen, because of the time, yeah, I would like to listen to all of you, but I want to thank you because I can see that you send examples in the chat. Oh, yeah, and actually you wrote the example very well, Mayra, sorry. Yes. Yeah, thank you guys, you know, uh, for sending your examples in the chat. I'm, you know, double checking. Very good, very good. Thank you, thank you, Carlos, Mariana, Karen. Sana, Jonathan, Daniela, Melissa, Eva, Heidi, thank you, Roxana, Aira. Okay. Very good. Listen, because of the time, we're going to start right here, but I would like you to practice. So I guess I'm going to send you guys a, a, a picture, a different picture, you know, with different people that they are doing different actions in, in, in that scenario. So I will send the picture, you know, through the WhatsApp group. So you can practice more, you can write more sentences, right? And tomorrow we're going to practice with the questions, right? Pressing continuous. Okay. Vamos a quedarnos acá. Para por el momento solo hemos visto afirmativo y negativo, pero creo que mañana, si no me equivoco, sí, mañana vamos a, a ver las, las preguntas. Vamos a dejarlo así. Oh, Jacqueline, it's okay. Yeah. You were supposed to write the examples in a notebook. You want to see those examples in the cuaderno? Sí, no se preocupe. Ok, eh, les voy a compartir otra imagen en el chat de WhatsApp para que podamos seguir practicando con Present Continuous. ¿verdad? Otra imagen similar, pero hay más personas, ¿verdad? están haciendo más acciones para que ustedes puedan practicar. Hagan sus oraciones, ¿verdad? practiquen. Y les voy a saber también de ver los ejercicios. ¿okay? Well, ¿Any questions? No, no, no. 
No, teacher. No question. No, teacher. Okay. no question. Well, teacher. Yeah, tell siempre, me. Siempre sobre eh, positivo y negativo. Siempre. Yes. Okay, bye. Okay. Okay. Yeah, affirmative and negative, please. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, please practice with the present continuous affirmative and negative, right? And tomorrow we're going to practice with the questions. So I want to wish you a great afternoon. Enjoy it. Rest a lot. And yeah, practice. Practice with English. Blessings to all of you. Bye bye. 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 Bye b